So these are the CPEPs that we carry. Uh, there are two different sizes. What you do to find the size is on the front in the white here, it will say either adult large or it will say adult medium. Right, right there on the front of the package. Um, the only difference in the actual contents of the package is the size of the mask that actually goes on the patient's face. So if you accidentally grab the wrong size, it's all right, you don't have to do the whole tubing and everything. All you have to do is, is get the other mask from the other one. So I'll show you what this looks like when we take out the package. When you open your package, there is a tubing and a mask in this package. And like I said, the only difference between these two sizes is the mask itself. To attach this to the tubing, what we're going to have to do is take the mask out of the bag. And the mask just simply plugs right into the tubing. Right? We'll show you how to apply this to a patient in a while. Um, the green screw on here is what you will actually attach to the high pressure valve on the oxygen. You have these on both your portable oxygen tank regulator and also in the ambulance. The tubing itself does actually extend. So the tubing does extend for a little bit more space to bring it to your patient from the oxygen source. There are a couple items that you do have to know how to use. So on the front of the mask here, we do have a PEEP valve adjustment. There are three different PEEP settings. There is 5, 7.5, and 10 for the PEEP settings. To adjust the PEEP, all you have to do is dial this down. Now it's at 7.5, and now it's at 10. To change it the other way, all you got to do is dial it back. And that's how you adjust the PEEP on the CPAP. Uh, generally, with our severe respiratory distress patients, we would start between 7.5 or 10, depending on how severe they are. Um, you can also attach a nebulizer to the CPAP. All you have to do is, instead of assembling this entire piece, you just take the T part off of the nebulizer. And down here, there's already an um, adapter in line with the CPAP. You take this and you just plug this right in, and it opens up that valve. This is a one-way valve, so when you take the nebulizer off, notice that it is closed. So you don't have to worry about actually having to close this cap on the bottom. Um, if you attach the nebulizer, all you have to do is attach the nebulizer to oxygen, set it to the proper, appropriate flow rate, and it will administer the medication in line with the CPAP. To connect your CPAP to oxygen, like I said, you'll need this. And we'll bring our oxygen tank over here with the regulator. And you have a high pressure valve on the oxygen tank. So um, as long as your oxygen tank is open and has oxygen in it, the only thing you'll have to do to uh, attach oxygen to your CPAP is take this and you will screw it on to the actual valve. So all you gotta do is twist it on. Be careful because this green piece is plastic and you can easily ruin the threads on the metal um, connection. So just make sure it goes on straight. It should screw on quite easily. And once you do, it will automatically start administering oxygen to your patient. And it does get quite loud, so it does become difficult to communicate with your patient over the noise of the CPAP. To take it off, all you have to do is unscrew it. And then we'll show you how to apply the CPAP to an actual patient. If you have a respiratory distress patient that you've already had on oxygen, they still meet the criteria for CPAP and they're indicated. Uh, she looks to be about a size medium, so we're going to pull out our medium CPAP and we're going to go ahead and place the CPAP on the patient. So you're just going to open the package, take your CPAP out. A couple different components to the CPAP. <clears throat> you have the mask and the tubing. Mask is quite simple, you just plug it right into the CPAP tubing. And then you have to plug the tubing into the oxygen tank. So plug the tubing into the oxygen tank, what you're going to have to do is take the end with the green and you're going to screw it right into your high pressure valve. As long as the tank has oxygen in it and the tank itself is open, when you screw this in, it should automatically turn on at the correct flow rate for you. You're gonna walk your patient through what you're about to do, which is I'm gonna take the mask off of you, we're gonna put a new mask on you, put it on their face, the strap's gonna go behind their head, they're gonna come around to the front and clip in. You should hear them snap in. And then there's Velcro adjustments on the sides. You're going to instruct the patient to take a nice easy breath in and out. It's going to start helping in a couple minutes. 
If you need to, there is a PEEP valve adjustment here. There are three settings for PEEP. There is a five of PEEP, 7.5, and 10. With severe patients, we would normally start between 7.5 and 10. All you have to do is dial that down. So now what we're gonna demonstrate is once you get your patient into the ambulance, how to switch the CPAP from your portable oxygen regulator to the actual ambulance oxygen system. So to put on the ambulance oxygen regulator, all you have to do is find the high pressure valve and screw it in. You should not be removing the Christmas tree. So you just screw it in. And there are two options to do this. You can do it while it's connected to the wall or take the whole unit off the wall, screw it in and plug it back into the wall. Once again, make sure it goes on straight and the threads don't cross because it is a plastic piece and you can ruin the threads on the plastic. And that's how you switched over.